He's signing into law a historic win for women's rights activists, the culmination of years of campaigning. After inking legislation legalizing abortion, Argentina's president recognized the grassroots movement in his speech. Hoy estamos dando más libertades a las mujeres y más capacidad de decidir a las mujeres. Parece una frase, pero es un paso inmenso. Es un paso inmenso. Y es también el resultado, como dije antes, de una lucha colectiva, donde las mujeres tomaron la bandera, se pusieron al frente, salieron a las calles. Before the law was voted, terminations were only allowed if pregnancy was the result of rape or if the woman's life was at risk, forcing many to turn to underground procedures. The government estimates that since 1983, more than 3,000 women died in the country due to illegal abortions. Argentina is now the largest Latin American nation to allow abortion, joining Cuba, Uruguay and Guyana. Es importante, y yo lo digo constantemente, que Latinoamérica se va a pintar toda de verde. Creo que eso tiene que suceder así, con las resistencias enormes que hay, en, en, digo, sobre todo en sectores muy conservadores y muy vinculados a la iglesia, a las iglesias en nuestra región. Latin America currently has some of the world's most restrictive abortion laws, partially due to the strong influence of the Catholic Church. In El Salvador, Honduras and Nicaragua, the procedure is completely banned and women can be sent to jail for even having a miscarriage. But more change could be on the horizon. This Thursday, Chile's Congress debated a bill seeking to allow elective abortion until 14 weeks of pregnancy. And the green handkerchief synonymous with the women's rights movement could be seen on the streets of Santiago.